Well, I think you need to get context with this. First of all, Frank's allowed to have his opinion. And if that's his opinion, he verbalises it. Um, and so is Adam. And so is Adam. Uh, no, that's not what's allowed to happen. You're only allowed to have an opinion if it's part of the PR mechanism that suits those that you're making an opinion on. The challenge for Adam is that Adam was asked to go and speak to Frank by Queensbury's PR and then was ambushed by Frank and pulled in front of a camera. And, of course, those knuckle-dragging IFL guys would make lots of fun out of this opportunity because it's a way to smack talk sport because they like it. They don't like the fact that people are saying certain things in this space and getting more attention. Look, I think it's fair comment for Frank to pull him up. The tragedy of it is is that facts always trump sentiments. This ridiculous argument that's going on at this moment in time between this platform, ostensibly primarily myself being involved in this conversation, and Adam Catrell and Frank Warren, who's protecting his own position because his cash cow is Tyson Fury. So he's going to say whatever he thinks is going to be able to make sure that his relationship with Tyson is maintained. Nobody has taken liberty with Tyson Fury. The only thing people have done is taken Tyson Fury at his word and questioned certain things. Now, apparently, in boxing... You're not allowed to question things. You have to be an acolyte or a sycophant, and if you're not, you're not going to get any content. Frankly, for me, I would have liked to have been there, irrespective of how the conversation went between me and Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn came in the studio. We had a ding-dong. Whoever think won that battle oh, is irrelevant. Yeah. Right? Yeah. In that conversation, the difference between myself and Adam is Adam is slightly mindful, I think, of the consequences of the commercial relationship between talk sport and Queensbury, I couldn't give a monkey's ass about it. I would have told Frank exa- exactly what I think of that, their, 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 his sentiments about who does what, when, how and why, and why Tyson Fury is not being picked upon. Tyson Fury is being held accountable for what he said. Tyson Fury has been lionised by this platform on numerous occasions, and in recent times he's been pulled up on a couple of things that he said. And Adam Catchell is one of the best boxing observers in this country. He doesn't have any agenda, doesn't have any motivation, he calls it as he sees it. And what Frank did was a liberty. I don't blame him for doing it because he's protected his pitch, he's having his opinion. And they talk about arguments, say, well, the problem with you guys is you can have the last word. They won't have the balls to come in and debate people because they can't. Spencer Morgan, who runs Tyson Fury, turned around saying that my health is a reason why I've been vitriolic towards Spencer. No one picks that comment up, thinks that's a bit beneath the belt. Or, Ni- or Nigel Ben or Connor Ben or any of these guys that get upset by things. Yeah. They won't come in and debate because you know why they can't debate it? Because they can't debate what's in front of their eyes because they don't like being confronted with the truth. And Adam has done it. And he's backed it up. He's backed up every single... When Adam says we've been served lager, what the bleeding hell was Derek Chisora versus Tyson Fury at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in December? I don't care whether Frank rants and raves about the fact they sold the stadium out. People will go to the opening of an envelope sometimes. That's no big big, no, big, no yeah. big claim for fame. Yeah. I think that ultimately Frank is entitled to his opinion in the same way that we are. The tragedy of it is, is that nobody actually wants to have an honest opinion. Nobody said Tyson Fury was ducking Alexander Usyk. What was said in response to Alexander Usyk's management team, who who were the ones that accused Tyson of ducking him, was if he is ducking him, after all the noise that we hear from Tyson, then he should be ashamed. What's wrong with that? Right. All of a sudden, that's a major offence. Absolutely. And the battle is, and of course, these these YouTube channels will love it. Yeah. Because talk sports cut a sway through the boxing world, and all of a sudden. It's been put in its place because Queensbury won't talk to them. To I criticised Simon at the start of this show, didn't I? But this is what he's good at, isn't he? Protecting people, to oh. his colleagues. You're trying to get back in favour? No, no, no. Because that's one of his star qualities, yeah? He doesn't like former players. He doesn't like current players. <laughs> but yeah, one true. thing he will do, he, will, he, he protects his colleagues. And he's done that extremely well there. Although Frank Warren did, obviously, you'd expect him, wouldn't you, to support his I think Frank's title. got a right. You can't say that Adam's got a right to opinion without Frank having a right to one. So who's the fellow yeah. Spencer Morgan is it? Yeah, he's Tyson Fury's manager. Well, has let's a, have him on. He won't, they won't have the courage, Jim. Come There's on, no, Spencer Morgan, no, I know you'll be listening. And you Come know, on, and on and Thursday. Do you know what they say, Jim? They'll say, we're not giving you content. Because if you come on and we come on, you'll give, we're giving you clicks. <laughs> no, it's a falsely impact. We give you we give you airtime so people will yeah. recognise you more. Yeah. And you give us content. That's how it works. Yeah. But you won't because you cannot deal with the argument. Okay, well, Spencer, they don't can't. be shy. Come on on Thursday. Let's all be pals again. No this chance. Is, this is a nonsense. Let's see if he does it. We're coming up to 10 to 12. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.